Hey guys, this is Keith with KJ Aquatics. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video playing with my GoPro again. But anyways, I wanted to do a quick video of um, a 55 gallon that I have down in my fish room that I don't do a lot of water changes on. Um, the fish are healthy. I've had this tank set up for at least four years. But the reason I don't do a lot of water changes on this tank is the simple fact that I have a, a, a booty load of plants growing immersed coming out of the top of it. I don't have a lot of plants um, submerged. have some valicinaria there, some hornwort, a little bit of moneywort, but that's basically it. This tank is full of Chapleicus pardalis. I'll show you how to spell it right here because um, don't ask me how to spell it. But these are a wild type a uh, live bear, a gadaid species from Mexico. Um, but that's what's in this tank, plus um, a few bushy nose. But anyways, what, what I'm doing this, this quick video to, sh to show you the plants. Um, if you go on YouTube, there's a zillion people that, that talk about pothos. Um, these have tremendous benefits for your tank. They use, um, they're great at pulling the, the excess nitrates at, out of your tank. Um, but I have other stuff that's mixed in here. These right here, and, and we do offer them for sale. These, I don't know the exact um, species of these. Um, I buy them just as arrowheads. Um, when I get them, they come different colors. Some of them are variegated. This one has like a nice pink um, hue running through the leaves. This is a very pretty one. This one here is just more of a basic green. Same way with same way with this one. But these will get bigger. They grow really easy. How I have these growing in the tank, people ask me, how do you attach them to your tank? If you can see this right here, this is an old dip and pour or specimen container. Um, if you stay in the hobby long enough, the, these are a fantastic tool to use um, for <clears throat> catching fish and whatnot using for mini hospital tank for fry tanks or whatever but occasionally you do drop them and they break they get old they get brittle so instead of me just throwing these out i i take and drill some holes in them they're cracked they're broke but as long as you still have the hanger available that's that's not broke off like i said i I'll drill some holes in them and i hang them in inside the tank and i use them for a planter um, this one has some duckweed in it also, um, but they work fantastic. And then basically that's, that's what you're seeing here inside, inside the tank is an old specimen container also called a dip and pour. And again, I just drill some holes in it and I use it for a planter. But <clears throat> let me show you some of the other plants. Again, besides pothos, this is some new, new growth on the potho. This plant right here is really common in the in the hobby. Um, doesn't look the greatest right here. This one kind of kind of is an ugly piece, but this is Hygrophilia um, agunstifolia. So Hygro willow willow is the, uh, the the common name. So Hygrophilia agunstifolia. I have this plant growing here also. This is and I'm gonna butcher the name, but Cedriana. This is related to um, Lucky Bamboo. You could buy this in your home center or you could <clears throat> um, buy it for me. This is a common plant that's sold in the big box store submerged. So don't be fooled. It looks cool because you have a white, um, the leaves are variegated with some nice, nice white in the leaves. They look really cool. So when you go into big box stores, they'll have them in a pot, they'll have them submerged. You think they're a submersible plant, they're not. Um, they could stay underwater for short periods of time, but you leave them there for any length of time and they're gonna rot and die. So don't be fooled. The big box stores are notorious for selling lots of plants that are not true aquatic plants. And this, this is one of them. But you can grow it immersed very easy as, as I'm doing. Um, let me show you, I have uh, red mangrove, 
This is red mangrove. Yes, this is the mangrove you can get um, that grows wild down along the coast of Florida. But these are sustainably grown. These are not stripped from uh, the wild. So pretty cool plant. I've had people tell me, oh, well, they need salt water. No, they don't. Red mangrove, um, or mangrove in general, just need water for the roots. That's it. So that's red mangrove. Um, this is some more. This is some lucky bamboo here. It's pretty cool. Another super easy plant to grow immersed. Um, I showed you the, the arrowheads. You can grow. This is moneywort right here. This is uh, moneywort, Bacopa monera, growing growing immersed and if you also look in here you can see uh, Brazilian pennywort growing immersed so there's a lot of plants that you can grow submerged or immersed um, being these two Bacopa monera and Brazilian pennywort pennywort actually grows the best um, as a floater um, that, that's basically what I had in here, but it'll grow towards a light. So it's growing up trying to reach the light. And all I'm using for a light above this tank is a simple four foot light fixture that you can get from your home center. And the bulbs I used, um, these are actually, this is just a regular incandescent, not incandescent, but a fluorescent light fixture, but I'm not using fluorescent lights. Um, I'm using LED light bulbs that, that that fit this and these are I'm trying to think they've been in there for a while like a couple years at least and they're still working fine <clears throat> I'm trying to think I think these bulbs are on the 5000 K spectrum um, I wouldn't use anything less than that um, so when you if you buy fluorescent light bulbs for a fixture like this make sure they're at least 5,000 K all right or 5k right. anyways just want to show off these plants um, here's some more uh, hygrophilia what did I say uh, hygrophilia against the folia don't ask me to spell it but that's what I got here coming around the back side it's just a lot of pothos this is a patho jungle this stuff is fantastic you can buy it from me i mean i sell clippings for for relatively cheap or you can go to your your garden center your home center you can buy it it's going to be potted in dirt you could just um unpot it you know pull it out of the dirt you can take the piece and, and cut it up clean the dirt off and then just plug it in your tank um again i use i use these old dipping pours but this right here is a old is a actual just a pickle jar that i have clipped right here so it's your tank it's, it's, it's your your imagination to to get stuff done so have fun with it and you know enjoy the hobby like i do so anyways that's all i got i wanted to keep it short and again just wanted to play with my gopro peace out guys